Hello everyone and welcome back to the Build New Crest Legacy Challenge uh, with me Gabby and welcome back if you're returning. We are building two houses today for Bailey and Sammy. Uh, there are current legacy challenges? Sims? <laughs> I don't know what the right word would be uh, to use here but anyway uh, if you guys know them already then of course welcome back. Um, I decided to get rid of the micro home and just build them their own proper home in this part. They will still live on the same lot but they have their own respective houses now which is great. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And yeah, I'm back with face cam today. I actually was really debating whether I should. I love doing face cam with speed builds because I think it's just nice to talk about it and for you guys to see me and things like that. Um, but at the same time, you guys might know that I was a bit ill last week and I have this like huge red spot under my nose and I'm sorry I've drawn your attention to it now but <laughs> in case you're thinking Gabby's having a nosebleed on camera right now I am not having a nosebleed it's just very red and irritated skin from using 20 tissues in the space of an hour at least every day <laughs> so just to know if you're ill and you're using tissues don't forget to moisturize your skin because this might happen to you just a warning anyway <laughs> enough about that so um i am back today and i wanted to just take you guys through these uh two homes that i'm building and we are having some festive vibes today i hope you guys appreciate that and not you know thinking what on earth is going on here um but i thought you know it's december okay it's not that close to christmas yet it's still like a week away but we're getting there and even though this wasn't necessarily a christmasy build it just building in the snow was so fun i don't think i've ever built in the snow in the sims so this was really fun for me and when i was building it i really um had the feeling of Christmas. I felt very festive. So that's why I decided to go a bit Christmassy today and, you know, put on my antler uh, hair tie and <laughs> just get in the mood. I've even got like a Christmassy candle on. Well, actually it's cinnamon chai, but that just reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> so um, I'm in the mood, guys. I'm in the festive spirit and it's, uh, it's great. But yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the houses. I'm very very happy with these. I tried to build something that kind of suited the area around Newcrest, this particular part of Newcrest at least. And as I mentioned, I just wanted to play two different sort of families, I guess, in one lot. And so if you guys know and kept up to date with it, Bailey's had kids now. She's a mum. Well, she's had one kid. But she's going to get married. Uh, she has a partner. And living in a tiny home with those guys and her brother was just too much. It was too much. We didn't even have a toddler space uh, for the new uh, toddler, uh, Darwin. <laughs> He's going to be a famous scientist, guys. <laughs> um, so I thought, you know what? Let's build two homes next to each other. Now, this actually came from an idea I had because the next sort of build we have to do for the challenge is a gym and my idea was that the gym will be built in between two random not random but two residential lots basically which is what is happening right here so what i'm imagining is that the space in between the homes will be filled with the with there will be like a modern extension i don't know I don't know if this is making sense, it's very hard to describe. <laughs> like, I have it in my mind, but it's very hard to describe. Anyway, for now, these are just homes, but in the future, I will make this lot into a gym. So we're kind of just moving ahead already and making it into a gym already, basically. Uh, making the blueprints for the gym, at least. But for now, it's just a residential lot. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. It was um, something new for me to build sort of two homes next to each other and they're very matchy-matchy which I don't actually like a lot um, but I accepted it this time because the interiors are very different very different like polar opposite different I'm not exaggerating guys <laughs> they just are um, but I kind of like that 
because when you go into the houses you just don't know what to expect it's very exciting i don't know i hope you guys feel that way as well once you uh see what i'm gonna do with them in this part i've actually split it into two so for today's part we are working on the pink house on the left and that is bailey's home now um bailey chose probably the color scheme at least i would imagine um so she's decided to go for a pink uh door front door and um the house inside i don't know how to describe it it's kind of more like old-fashioned i guess I wouldn't know really I just went with the flow um, I had something in mind to be honest the, the house that I had in mind was my mom one of my mom's older friends um, she had this really really beautiful uh, house this was in, the, in England back in the UK and it was kind of like this it was much like not much bigger but it was bigger than this but it kind of had the same style to it so that's kind of where i took inspiration just from a real life home that i've been to um so sometimes i like to find some inspiration photos but sometimes just you know have a think about the houses you've been in and um for that reason i think this house came out quite realistic at least i would like to think so um you know with the floor plan and kind of the look of it and the clutter and things like that so um yeah that was kind of my inspiration for this home and i just to be honest i wanted to i wanted to make it more of a um home you know tailored to the sims that are going to live here so bailey is a mixologist she loves entertaining she loves people so this home is really like made to entertain others i would say um her husband or her partner also really likes having people over and they do have a, a child but i actually didn't add many i don't think i added any uh, child related items downstairs but you know his room darwin's room does have a lot of toys and a lot of things to do so it's not that <laughs> he doesn't have anything and he's you know like an abandoned toddler but um he's got plenty to do upstairs so i think downstairs is really their entertaining space and the house itself isn't that big so there's not that much you can really put anyway in the in the downstairs at least um but yeah i've used some cc as well i really really i was so happy with my cc and uh, not to say that i found like good cc but i'm just saying it in the way that i'm happy that i had so much choice with cc i go on about this all the time but cc creators are amazing um this house wouldn't have had the look that i wanted to uh, uh that i wanted it to have if it wasn't for the cc uh options so it was just so good to have so many different options and stuff and I will, you know, as always, it's always linked down below. So I will make sure that the CC links are there for you guys in case you want to also have a look at the CC. If you can't use CC, if you're on console um, and you want to download it, I will put it onto the gallery still. But just keep in mind that, of course, some furniture will disappear. It's not that I use CC everywhere, but of course, just be aware um, that some objects might disappear. I think you can definitely recreate this without... Uh, using any custom content but for me it's just very hard to build without custom content um especially when i have something in mind and now i know what cc i have so it's you know it's just finding the one that i'm imagining uh, and if i had to get rid of it i don't know if i could build as well uh, because the objects we have they're quite nice but a lot of the time what I struggle with is actually the color schemes that the objects have, like the color palettes that the Sims team have chosen. It's very difficult to work with them uh, sometimes, so yeah. That's just my uh, little rant about the objects in the game. <laughs> no. no, I really, some objects I really, really like actually, like the um, tiny living stuff I really love. I always use like my tiny homes. And... What else do I like? Laundry day, maybe? I can't remember. There's another one that I use. Oh, no, Strangerville. I love uh, building exteriors of homes with like Strangerville uh, stuff. It's just great. It's just great. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I was going on about there anymore, but um, here we are. <laughs> 
so uh here is the living space now um these doors are actually also cc like the door frames here because they are um like updated it's updated from the strangerville door and they made it into like a door frame that you can just walk uh walk through <laughs> forgot the word there um so it's also cc and again you can just replace that with normal sort of like door frames what are they called like there's not an actual door it's just like a frame i don't know, a frame um that's what we're going with so um and i thought they were so beautiful i love stained glass it's honestly one of my favorite things uh in buildings is stained glass um whenever we go to a church like we whenever whenever i travel whenever i used to travel <laughs> uh we would always see the the sort of local church um and have a look inside and oh, the stained glass just blows me away it's just so beautiful you know it's there's always something so beautiful about when the light shines through it and you can just see the reflection on the on the floor and oh it's just amazing it's just my favorite thing so anyway going back to my point when i saw the door frames and that they had the same stained glass design as the front door from strangerville i was in love and i had to download it so uh, yeah that's the story of the door frame <laughs> it has a lot of meaning okay <laughs> um but yeah so the living room as you guys can see it's not very big not at all but it's got everything the family might want inside the home i hope and um yeah, just enjoy how it looks. To me, it's like a realistic sort of living room. Um, at least the floor plan and stuff, you know, it's... I don't know, I could just imagine family spending time in here. And it's very cozy with the fire and... Yeah, just the, like the door frames going into the dining room. I don't know, it just... It felt right, so I went with it. But yeah, now we are onto the little dining room. Again, I will have to check and play a test everything because I'm not entirely sure if everything will work. I hope so, you know, it looks like it will, but you never know with The Sims weirder things have happened. So <laughs> I will have to play a test it and just make sure that everything works uh, before I upload it, of course. And um, yeah, that's kind of the, the story about that. So yeah, this home is actually a little bit bigger than the other one because I extended it. Uh, you know at the back of the house there's a conservatory as you can see there to the right there's a conservatory so um we will move on to that in a little while which is also an entertaining space by the way but yeah we will move on to that in a bit and you guys will see what i do with it but it's just a little bit more modern i guess and a bit more um a bit more cozy i would say at least in my eyes so yeah we're gonna ow sorry <laughs> I'm always when I whenever I sit down on a chair um, I always put my legs up and sometimes when I move them around I just hit myself <laughs> don't mind me guys don't mind me so um, yeah now we're on to the kitchen again I really love this kitchen it's quite small actually I don't know if you know being inside this kitchen would just make people feel claustrophobic maybe but at the same time, I've seen so many homes with a, a kitchen this size. To be honest, I don't think it's even a bad size. But I think just on The Sims, I'm used to like having a really big kitchen. So it was a little bit strange to build such a small but sort of well-furnished uh, space. So yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge to, I don't know, get everything in and make it look cozy still and nice and everything. But I like how it came out in the end. I think, again, it's realistic. I'm gonna keep using that word, I'm sorry. But it really, to me, it just screams like a British home. Um, I don't know, I just find something so comforting about it. And uh, I really like that. So yeah, um, I like how it all came out in the end. I also added a backsplash, backsplash. And, and um, it was made of marble as well, which sort of, um, goes well with the marble countertops that you guys see here and also because I thought you know this wallpaper is beautiful like the tile wallpaper thingy going on there but it's it hasn't actually got tiles going up high enough which is really weird maybe it's only for the bathrooms or something but um but yeah it didn't have 
you know tiles going up high enough so that's why i added the backsplash in the end but we'll find that later and we'll add that in but it just completed the look a lot so yeah love how that came out absolutely love it um but yeah so that's a little bit about the the home and how i decided to go about it and i hope you all are doing well as well i um took a little bit of a break from recording but i'm so happy to get back to it now and actually we are in um in lockdown here again in the in the netherlands um because cases keep rising and it's just not really looking it's not really looking up at the moment which is uh which is a bit of a shame of course because i think everyone's just so tired and you know we all want this to end and i don't know it just seems like even in the new year it's not really looking up yet so we'll have to uh yeah keep staying positive and staying strong and trying to make it through which i'm sure we will and i'm sure it will get better soon but it's just yeah at the moment it's not looking great but it does mean that i'll of course have a bit more time to you know do the things i like um spend a little bit more time on my hobbies and myself uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing of course so yeah i think that will be okay in the end but yeah so i'm just excited to kind of have a break from work and you know work on my sims as well um i've got so many ideas for the channel and i'm so excited to just experiment with it and try out new things i think it will be great um so yeah that's a little bit uh, of an update about the situation right now um and yeah, I hope you're all keeping well as well. I hope all your family members are doing okay. And hopefully that you still have work and things like that. Um, I'm just sending out good thoughts, positivity. So yeah. here. So you guys can see what I'm doing with the space though. It's very, very cozy. I would love to sit out here. So there's a glass roof as well, of course, above. And again this how this would <laughs> this is inspired by the home um that i mentioned earlier and whenever we visited that friend uh, of my mom's i would always just sit out uh, out in the conservatory basically at the back of the home and i would love it because if it rained or something you could just hear the rain so well and it's so cozy and warm so um yeah i really imagine that as a nice space to relax with your friends have a wine have a chat uh, with everyone just catch up in a really nice space and i also added a bar because as i mentioned bailey is a mixologist so i thought that was uh very much needed in the space and why not you know um i don't really add bars a lot in homes like I always forget about it and then it comes to like a celebration and I'm like, oh no, we need a bar. How are they going to have drinks? Which is crazy when you think about it, right? Because who in real life has a bar inside their home? You just get a drink from the fridge, you know? <laughs> or like from the pantry or the, I don't know, somewhere. Which is <laughs> definitely, you don't mix your own cocktails casually in your little home, right? I mean, not that everyone's home is little, but I mean, like, this home is little and they have a bar, so... I don't know. Things to think about, you know? <laughs> but really, like, when you do think about it, it's so funny how things that we see on The Sims have become so usual for us. And I don't know if it's because Sims is really Americanized and that, you know, like, being in Europe, we don't have sort of those things, or if it's just really something that's just not true for anyone. It's just a sims thing. I don't know. I don't know. But bars is definitely one of them. Chess tables and parks. Like that's... We see that as a necessity, right? When we're building a park or something. But who, I've never seen a chess table outside. I, mean, I don't even think I've ever seen a chess table, period. <laughs> like an actual chess table? <laughs> Where? Where? Are those around still? I don't know. I've never seen one. Um, so yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know if that's a sims thing as well. You guys let me know, you know, let me know if you have just a chess table in your local park or if you have a bar inside your home. Um, those are things I really want to know. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. I'm rambling on, but you know, it's what we're here for. We're here for a good ramble. 
Um, oh yeah, the lighting as well. I really wanted to do something different with the lighting. I always add those little subtle saucer lights, but in this one I wanted to create like a little bit more, uh, a bit more of a, of a moody lighting sort of situation. And again, because it's supposed to be like an older home, you know, I don't think they would necessarily add those saucer lights in. Though that would look really weird, I would say. So, um, so yeah, no, I I think using just the normal lights is okay sometimes. Um, just for gameplay, I do prefer to have everything lit up very well. But I think it should be okay, hopefully. Um, upstairs we add two bedrooms because they do have, as I mentioned, uh, a son named Darwin now. So he has his own room and they actually each have uh, a bathroom as well. So that's really nice, they're both uh, en suites because they have their own bathrooms. Um, yeah, just a good space upstairs. I don't know what else to say. I really like how it came out. Um, again, it's not that the bedrooms were too big but at the same time I ran out of things to put in the upstairs bedrooms for the adults because I'm like what else do you need in a bedroom so they also have a chess table in their bedroom um maybe that's a bit weird I don't know <laughs> just like a casual uh just a casual um chess table in your bedroom you know I don't know. Oh, I did try to experiment with platforms as well in this build a little bit, just a little bit, uh, because I'm still very nervous about using them. They're so weird to me. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I just don't know <laughs> anything. So using them was a little bit of a challenge and I actually don't know if things will be usable because of the platforms, like the showers on a platform. Can they use that? I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to play a test it. Um, and I put a platform somewhere else as well, I think, I can't remember exactly, but anyway, I did try to use them a little bit, so, you know, be patient with me, maybe I'm doing it wrong and you're gonna be thinking like, Gabby, what on earth, that's not how they work, maybe, but I'm just experimenting because I really, really don't know sort of what's usable and what's not with them. I've seen a lot of cute ideas with platforms though, um, especially like in kids' bedrooms, they look really really cute. To be honest, I could have even tried it in this bedroom. Now that I think about it, why didn't I? Hmm. I might have to experiment with that guys. I might have to change up the uh, kids' bedroom because that would be so sweet if he had a, a platform like where, uh, where his bed is. Oh. That would look so cool, I think. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. That would, could be quite cool. Oh, sorry. I hit my uh, knee again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, and the little space where the stairs are, this will be a little office space. Um, and laundry as well. I managed to fit in uh, a washer and a dryer, which we're doing right now. Actually, we're getting that prepared. So yeah that that will be tucked away uh but still usable you know i don't know how to feel about laundry though sometimes i really love it in my game and sometimes it's just such a chore and so annoying <laughs> i can't even handle it so at times now i don't even include laundry anymore in my houses and then sometimes i do it's just it's hard to take care of it and now I'm thinking actually, in, th in these two homes, I didn't even put laundry in the other house, so everything will have to go into one of the, like, laundry uh, washing machines. Um, but then at the same time, I think that Sammy, like, he doesn't have a, um, a a washing machine in his home. I think he would actually just bring his stuff over to this house and let his sister <laughs> do it. I just, I can just imagine Sammy doing that actually, so... Uh, maybe it's not so bad I forgot it in the end, but um, maybe it's more realistic I would say for The Sims. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I feel like sometimes what annoys me with the laundry is um, when like the, you know, you have a butler or a maid come to your home. And I have that a lot because I unlock the aspiration reward which um, gives you free services so you don't have to pay for a scheduled maid or anything. So I just, you know, I have that going and then um the maid or the butler just put the uh, fresh laundry on like a little coffee table or they put it somewhere that i've never even seen 
you know, I've never even seen that place. And then, like, I never put the clothes back, so they never get clean clothing. It's just... <laughs> It just becomes so annoying after a while to uh, have to worry about that. I know, this this is really like first world sim problems, isn't it? But it's just, it's what we deserve. We deserve fresh laundry. I mean, our sims deserve fresh laundry. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's why sometimes I just don't use it. And also, I mean, you know, just the whole taking it from the washing machine, putting it in the laundry, like, why can't that just be one action, you know, like, transfer to laundry, and then turn on the laundry automatically, because why else wouldn't you, like, why, what else would you do with the laundry, <laughs> you know, it's just, ah, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I just shouldn't have added the laundry, should I, I don't know, guys, what was I thinking, who do I think, who do I think I am, adding laundry, <laughs> Um, so yeah, oh yeah, here's a chess table. Very nice. I left it kind of center of the room because it just looks so empty. He here I was like, I was even asking my partner, I was like, what do you have in a bedroom? Um, I was really lost. Sometimes I forget how to furnish simple rooms. Um, when there's too much space, I just don't know what to do with it. It's very, it's a very troubling time. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all coming together, I would say. And now we are going to move on soon to the kids' bedroom. Um, I don't mind the kids' bedroom. It's not my favorite bedroom that I've done ever. But it's just supposed to be very colorful and um, fun. I, you know, the, what I imagined was that uh, Bailey and Victor, like, they're, I think they're great parents, but I don't think they necessarily would know how to furnish a kid's room that well. See, whenever I struggle with furnishing something, then I make up this storyline in my head, like, oh, my sims are the ones who are struggling with it and not me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, my sims just don't know how to furnish a kid's bedroom, so that's why it looks like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just blame the sims. No, you see what, I, what we're doing here? is we're role playing guys we're getting into the game and i think that's a great sign <laughs> that's my excuse that's my excuse so yeah using a little bit of cc here again i love kid room cc i'm so bored of the stuff we have for kids in the game it's just not a lot in general it's just not a lot i think we have like fifteen thousand activity tables but everything else it's just not enough <laughs> so uh, little things that we can add like um, little lights or wall decorations or even toy boxes like that one I think they're just great and they add so much to the game uh, so I really really like using CC for the kids bedrooms at least and yeah just you know like you guys can see there's no really theme there's not a theme to this room it's just colorful it's kid friendly there's lots to do um, to be honest, I think if I was a kid, this would be too much, even for me, as a kid, but <laughs> it's fine. Little Darwin can handle it. I've actually seen some kids' rooms that are just completely grey, or like, why? And I just don't, like, of course I'm not judging, you know, you can make your kids' room whatever it is. Maybe this one, you know, you would think, oh my god, that's way too much, Gabby, the kid's gonna have, I don't know, problems just from looking at that room <laughs> um but yeah i just don't know i feel like as a kid do you have any sense of like style or you know interior design choices probably not right i remember when i was a kid i mean i didn't care i just you know wanted toys and i wanted cute little things so yeah i don't know that's just my thoughts on it Anyway guys, we're gonna jump in now uh, into the, the game. Uh, you will see a few, not screenshots, but like little videos on how the house looks completed. And I'll be back again next week with part two of this, uh, which is the other home on the right, Sammy's home. So see you guys then. Bye!